Hello friends, myself Rakesh. I welcome you to Expo Hub Automation World Channel. Today we are going to learn three different small topics which could be one of your question in the interview. Step into, step over and step out. So they might ask you what is the difference between step into and step over? What is step out? So if you would like to answer such questions, if you would like to gain knowledge, this video is for you. Before we get started, let me introduce you to our channel where we have organized all the contents that you need to learn UiPath and if you go through all the playlist I am pretty sure this would help a lot as I receive comments from other people. I am pretty sure just by going through all the playlist this is going to help you and would help you to continue in your RPA journey. So with that let's get started. Now to take this as always, I will take a very simple example just to understand what is step into, step over and step out. Okay, now let's build a sm small workflow. I am going to take an assign activity. Okay, and here let me create a variable, control plus K and I am going to create a variable called integer value. Okay, so that is the variable. Let's go to the variable panel, highlight the activity and let's make it to integer. Done. After that, let me give it a value. Let's say I am giving a value called 10. Okay. And let me copy the same activity. And here, all I have to do is I will say int value plus 10. So, all I want initial value is 10, and next time when it executes, it will become 20. Right. Int value plus 10. Similar way, I will continue this for let's say 3 4 times. Okay. Done. Just copy it another 3 times. Okay. After that, Go here and type sequence in your activities panel. Drag and drop the sequence after the second activity. And here, just to check the step in to step out, I, I am using a sequence. You can use a flow chart, you can use a invoke activity, anything you want. And inside this sequence, I am going to drag and drop. Okay, this activities. And once it, once it goes through all the activities, I want to use a message box and here I want to show that value, the final value, okay, dot to string I will do because it's an integer type, right? So, okay, so my small workflow is created and with this small workflow, I am going to explain you how the step into activity works, okay? So, let's get started. So the very first thing I will do, I will go to the debug option. I am not going to click step into step out, nothing I am going to do. Okay. And here, um, click on the slow step. So I have already created a video where I have explained what is a slow step and how to utilize. I think with the uh, sentence itself, it is quite clear, right? So I am going to setting, uh, going to set this slow step to 1x. You can see it is 1x. Okay. So it will run quite slowly and simply let me run the debug file. Okay, I am running the debug. So what would happen right now you would see the execution would start and it will go through all the activities one by one. Okay, it went to sequence. Okay, okay. And finally, so it, it, it showed me the message box as 50. The final value is 50. Okay, fine. Now what I am going to do this time I am going to use the step into activity. So so step into itself, the meaning of step into is it will open the container. So when I say container, the meaning is it could be a sequence inside that you have so many activities. It could be a flow chart. It could be an invoke workflow activity, right? So where you will have multiple steps inside it. So in within this, you have got some certain activities, right? One, two, three, four activities you have got inside this. Okay. Fine, 10, 20, so it showed me uh, 50 as a result, right? So, 5 assign activities I have got and 1 message box I have got. And all these 3 assign activities and the message box is inside the sequence, clear? So, what the step into would do before applying the step into, either you can, so while the execution goes on, you can pause it here or you can use a breakpoint. So, I am using a breakpoint in the sequence. So, what is the breakpoint? Wherever I am giving a breakpoint, it's going to pause. Okay. So, let me run the debug file once again or debug project once again. 
okay so what would happen you can see it started executing and here because i have used a breakpoint it has stopped understood after this what i am going to do i am going to click on step into okay so step into any time you wanted to get inside the container and check each activity so what would happen when you are using step into first it will open the container second thing it will pause on each activity okay it will pause on each activity and execute first it will pause and then it will execute so let's see that how it works let me minimize this and i have already it has highlighted the sequence now i will click on step into once again so what it will do it has automatically opened the sequence for me you remember in read only format right so it has opened the sequence for me and then it has highlighted the assign activity then it will execute then it will highlight the second activity then it will execute then third activity then it execute then you will see it, it is going to highlight the message box first and then it will show me it will execute it will first highlight and execute so that is the difference step into and now it has executed getting it so this is step into so what is the difference so step into means it will open the container it will pause on each activity and it will highlight and then it's going to execute okay that is the three keywords you have to remember pause and highlight on each activity and execute okay now step over step over it will not open the container it is not going to open the container and it's not it's only going to only highlights the main sequence or workflow or invoke workflow right it will just highlight the container so instead of sequence i can say it will highlight the container okay it will only highlight the container but it will not go inside them okay and it will execute all the activities inside the container and pause okay so what is happening the step into activity will open the container and pause on each and every activity that is there inside that container correct but this one this exact one step over what this will do it will only highlight the container but it will not get inside those activities it will not so once it executes all the activities it is going to pause so let's see that let's have a look of that so let me stop this and this time i'm going to use the step over option okay so let's go to the main and here let me start the debug file okay so what is happening now in the sequence it has paused because i have used a breakpoint now if i use step over what it will do it will go inside the activities it will completely go and execute it did not pause right you saw right in the step two it was pausing on each and every activity but in the step over it did not pause it find it executes everything then it pauses so here you could see now it is pausing at this particular point okay so this is step over step over means it will execute all your activities and then it is going to pause now let's look at step out so what is the meaning of step out it is very obvious i mean if you use a step into activity for example let me run this okay so now the sequence has started now it is going to stop it here now here what i will do i'll use the step into activity so what happened now it has opened the container and it paused at the first activity then i will do step into again so what it will do again it goes to the second activity and pausing and then it will execute right pause and execute now i don't want to do that there are so many 10 to 20 activities just imagine there are 10 to 20 activities below this so i don't want to do for all of it so what i will do i want to step out of it so when I, the moment i do step out it will execute all the rest of the activities and it will come back and pause in the main container so let me step out so what is happening it is executing all the activities and it is pausing at the main container so that is the meaning of step into step over and step out i hope this example is very clear to you and you should be able 
to explain to anyone so if somebody ask you what is step into all you have to say is step into activity will open the container pause and highlight on each activity and then it is going to execute step over means is not going to open the container it will only highlight the container it will execute all the activities inside the container and then it will pause at the container step out means you have already stepped into it and you want to step out at certain point then will execute all the rest of the activities and will come out to the main container so that is the difference i hope this example should have given a clarity and you should be able to make anybody understand what is a step into step over and step out thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe we have all the content ready for you to be an expert in uipath please do like all the videos thank you have a great day guys